for this last chapter, we're going to keep things pretty simple and just do a little bit of a beauty filter. So first we're going to add a smile detector. So let's go to workspace, open the patch editor, right click and type smile. And for this to work, we need a face tracker. So we'll right click, add face tracker. We can just drag that in. Now we can grab the face and plug that into the face here. So now you can see when I smile, this little checkbox lights up. And this will control a few things in our scene. So first we're going to add a LUT and we're going to use Spark's new LUT capabilities. So we can search in the AR library and go under color LUTs and grab whatever you want in here. I'm going to do something that's maybe a little bit warm. Looks like warm fade might be nice. And before you would have to use some custom patches, but now we can just right click on the LUT, go to actions and apply to camera. And instantly you see that's working there. And it automatically made this whole patch system. It uses a render pass and then takes that and uses a LUT shader patch with our LUT down here, and that goes into the device, which is the viewport up here. And you can see if we change the intensity from one to zero, that'll disable the LUT. So for the smile to take place, if we just want it to be on while we're smiling, we can just add an if else statement. So right click and type if. Then the gesture state will control the condition. So if this is positive, then we want a one here. Otherwise we want zero. So if we plug that into the intensity. Now we're going to add a glitter emitter. So we'll right click, add particle system. And for this one, let's change it to a plane. Make sure it fills the whole space. So let's do 0.2 by maybe 0.4. And we'll rotate it so it's facing the camera. So 90 degrees in the X. And to see what we're doing, we can turn up this birth rate. Let's try maybe 0.4 by 0.6. Now for the spray angle, we can turn this to 90, 90, 90. So they're moving all around and the speed is going to be a lot slower. Let's try 0.05. The lifespan is going to be quite a bit bigger. We'll try five seconds. And now we can turn down the birth rate, maybe down to 50. And we want these to be more 3D. So we'll turn off billboarding and turn on some angular velocity maybe 90 degrees in the X, Y, and Z. And for the rotation, we want these to start at a random rotation. So we can just type 999, 999, 999. Actually, I think they're moving too much. Let's turn the speed down to 0 0.01. And the scale to 0 0.00, maybe three. Now for the material, let's create a new one double click, change it to physically based. And these will be very metallic, maybe a little bit rough. And the color should be pretty dark because we'll be adding this. So we'll change this to add. And then in the environment, let's grab something from the AR library. And something with high contrast helps for this. So I think this studio might be a good bet. And if you want these to be a little bit warmer, you can change this to a maybe a redder tone. Actually, the full brightness here doesn't look too bad. And having to smile over and over to test this is a little annoying. So instead of using this if else statement, we can use a switch. So if we take the gesture state here from the smile and turn it to turn on, and that will make this pulse here. 
So whenever this is turned on, it'll send a pulse and turn this on. And because there's nothing turning off, this will just stay on once you smile once. So let's use that instead and plug it into the conditional. So we're actually not skipping this, we're just adding a little bit in front of it. So I'll reset and test this. There we go. So now that'll stay nice and warm. And if you want that to be a smoother transition, you can add an exponential smoothing here. And turn that up to a thousand or more, whatever you want. So now if we refresh, there we go, we get a nice smooth transition there. And we can do the same thing with the particle emission. So let's click on the emitter, go to our birth rate, make a patch for that. And this only goes to one, so we'll multiply by 50. Plug that into the birth rate. So now if we restart, nothing's happening. And now we get particles and we get that warmth. All from smiling. Now up next, we're just gonna add some subtle freckles to the scene. 